I'm in the woods. Look at me hiking. I'm looking for something to kill. Never a moment of peace for a Viking, which I am, and that's all in real. And giants are so dumb, I almost can't believe they're real. So ugly and disgusting, what's with that? What is the deal? are throwing boulders now. Don't worry, dog! They still have axes and spears and stuff, too! If I'm lucky, I'm gonna catch a giant spear right in the eye! I can't wait to die and go to Valhalla, dog! Come on, come on, come on, come on! We're missing it! Um, just go on ahead, Helga. I'll catch up. Okie doke, dog. Don't be mad if I'm already dead by the time you get there. Right in the eye! <laughs> Yay! I hope I die too! Good luck dying, guys! Oh, gosh darn it. I hate battles. How am I supposed to get out of this one? I was working on this Runix cube before everyone started battling again. We made this triple hoe while everybody else was out battling. Triple the fun, triple the effort. My dumb little sword. Barely used. Hi, hon! Uh, Mom! Are you ready for the battle? I, um... You do want to get brutally murdered in battle and go to Valhalla, right? Who doesn't? Good, because remember, all awesome Vikings go to Valhalla. But if you're sick, old, or lame, you're doomed to eternity in Helheim. Yes, I know. Okay, hon. I'm going to go see if a nice giant wants to slit my throat. See you at the battle. To Valhalla! I can't stay here. She might come back. Guess I'll hide out in the woods until this ridiculous battle is over. Again. Hey, Bjorn! The battle's <laughs> over there, brother! Oh, it is? Okay. Good to know. See you in Valhalla, Bjorn! We will battle together forever, brother! You know it, Astrid. Ugh. No thanks. To Valhalla! Oh, holy gosh, Stark! Egan just got smashed! Lucky son of a lever is on his way to Valhalla now. Stupid giant! Why can't you kill me for once? Maybe I can chill out in this tree. What are you doing up here, Moose? You're a moose. You're not supposed to climb trees. What is anyone supposed to do? Where is anyone supposed to go? Where does anyone belong? Yeah, I'm getting out of this tree. off before battle. They didn't even finish their war. Oh, snap! Viking stash! 
Who hides ten coins? This cave is too dark to hide in all night. I'll take one. Good choice, brother. You'll get killed in no time. Trust me. Thanks, Ake. Okay. See you in Valhalla, brother. Always wondered what it looked like in here. Don't know what I expected. Name's RNAX, Steve. I've been in this cave for 30 years. Okay. Looking good there, Arna. Oh, I've been eating whatever I find in the dark. <laughs> it does wonders for my skin. One time I even ate my pants. <laughs> they were delicious. Listen, man. Climb down these rocks and head back, okay? You're like two steps away from the village. And do what? Battle giants? I think I'll just stay here with my beautiful wife, Stonehill. Uh, between you and me, though, she's uh, prettier with the lights off. Wait, kid! You don't happen to have a spare pair of pants for old RNA, do you? You seem like someone who might own pants! I'll, uh, see if I can find some pants for you. Oh, you hear that, Stonehill? We can have that romantic dinner for our 30th anniversary. Guess waiting out the battle in this cave is out of question. I guess I should give these to Mr. Axteen. Here are some pants, man. Yes! Look at that stone hill! Dinner is served! And you say I never do anything for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna super leave now. spot is just over this super sketchy bridge. Ooh. Easy. Easy. them before I pass on. Two arms and two legs. They should be around here somewhere. 
I'm kind of disappointed I can't fly as a ghost. Don't think I can go through walls either. Oh man, this feels so weird. I'm sure most Vikings do this when they die. One more. Next! Name? I am Erica Thundermuscles, daughter of... All right, shut up! Cause of death. I'm not dead. I'm on my way to Helheim to rescue my brother Ginnar. We were hunting in the fields of... Yeah, yeah, don't care. Just come in. Just don't break anything. Jeez. All right, next! Eggle Battle Bay? Cause of death. I bravely fell in battle. Uh, a giant smashed me with a rock. <laughs> by that you mean bravely fell and broke your neck just before getting smashed by a rock? That doesn't count as falling in battle, you whip! But I... Shut up! You're zapped to Helheim effective immediately! Zap! <laughs> Cry baby. Next! 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 Hello? Really? Was that everyone? Man, does nobody die from natural causes anymore? Or the flu? Or a work-related accident? Or some bad lutefisk? Or an unhealthy diet? Slipping on ice? Somebody has to slip on the ice. Or getting trampled by a moose? No, wait, but does that count as dying in battle? What about sneezing while polishing a sword? <sighs> There, my body is nice and whole for whoever's gonna find this mess. Oh, another one. Name? Bjorn Hammer Party. Hmm, was your soul teleported here? I don't think so. I just died over there. Hmm, all right. Cause of death? I cowardly fell to my death. Hmm. Nah, this doesn't seem right. You don't look sick, old, or lame to me. What? I just told you I accidentally fell to my death. That's super lame. Shut up! It says here that you're a brave hero. Now get out of here before he sees me talking to you! Who is he? What the hell is happening? Hee hee! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ho 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 ho! Hee hee hee! Hello, friends and foes! <laughs> it's me, your old father! And welcome to another episode of... Why Was Moodgen Talking With My Soul? Uh, I, I didn't know he was your soul, old father. He, he approached me! Is that so? Hee hee, ha ha! Pinky promise? Uh, uh, totally, Allfather. I would pinky promise all over the place. I if I had pinkies. I'm sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Was I about to kill you? Uh, no. Very well. Noble warrior! Whoa. You! Oh, you! You just slew an entire bear with your bare hands. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, all father. Woo, <laughs> top notch comedy. And you, <sighs> child, you are eligible to duke it out with me and my bros in Valhalla every single day for eternity. But I because I'm the all father and I approve of this message. Don't mess with my soul, or do and die. <laughs>
gosh darn is it? Ouch! Ah! Stay away from me, you stupid bush! I'll kill ya! Whoa! Whoa! Uh. Yeah! Ugh! Man, how is this place so gosh darn cold? It ain't even winter yet! Now, where is that stupid gate? Oh, there it is. Hello? Is anybody there? I was sent to pick something up for my boss today. <sighs> hey, I think your gate's frozen shut. Hello? Open up, gosh darn it. It's freezing out here. What? What does that mean? I can't read Norse code. Listen, if I don't bring back that package today, my boss is gonna get real whiny and... I just told you, I can't read that, you stupid gate. Stop messing with me. I'll rip you apart. <laughs> ah, stupid electric Norse gibberish showing pile of trash. I'll kill you. Oh, look. Dead Viking. You people are ruining my life. Wait a second. Stupid Norse gibberish showing gate. Stupid Norse gibberish reading Viking. Hmm. I ain't saying I got an idea, but I do. Let's see. No, no, no. Ah. Hmm. How does he do it? Huh. Wake up, you ancient loser! Darn it, it worked! Uh, are you okay? Can you see me? Wait, of course you can. <laughs> Duh! Hey man, name's Pesto. I, I just need you to... What is happening? Did you just get me out of Valhalla? Are you... are you a skeleton? Listen man, I don't want to go into all the ins and outs of the situation. I'm just trying to go to Viking Hell, and this stupid gate ain't letting me. Just tell me what it says and I'll... Uh, I'll send you a gift basket or something. Viking Hell? You mean you're trying to go to Helheim? Huh? Heil... Heilheim? Jeez, I can barely pronounce it. Hmm... They've changed it. It says they changed it? What the home does that mean? No, they changed the gate. It just says... Seriously, dude, just push the skeleton button? Skeleton button? You're pushing my skeleton buttons, you stupid gate! I'll show you! <laughs> I'll see if I can find a skeleton button. I mean, anything is better than being in Valhalla. All right, just hurry up. I'm not really supposed to resurrect people. Hey, Pesto! Did anything happen to the gate? Nope! Let's smash it open with a rock! Gosh darn it! Hold on! I think something opened over here. That button opened a hatch to this unnecessarily narrow hole. Well, I ain't going in there. I don't handle narrow spaces very well. I don't think I can fit in there, Pesto. Then what are you good for, you little? Ah! Wow! Wow! What the? Ugh. That's... Ugh. That's messed up. What the hell did you do to me, Pesto? How am I still alive? I, um, I might have messed up the resurrection spell. Look, it ain't a big deal. Once I send you back to, what did you call it? Wall Howler? You'll be fine. Great. So I'm just ahead then? Hey, at least now you can fit in that hole, right? I guess. There's like an orange door in here. Can you see if you can find an orange button out there? I ain't a physical being, dummy. Can't push it even if I find it. Ugh, fine. I'm coming back. Wait, here's a crazy idea. Can you still, uh, move your weird headless body? Um... Wow! You can! That's... Oh, so disgusting. Looks like that button you were whining about is up there. Man, 
I don't think I can jump that high. Ah, give it a try. Bet you can jump higher when your body ain't carrying that big orange head of yours. Ah, oh, home, yeah! You did it! Wait, you can see with your body? I don't know. I... no. No! I, I, I guess I can sense my surroundings or something. I wonder if I can reattach my head. I guess she did give me superpowers. <laughs> you two have fun in there! <sighs> hey, Pesto! There's a skeleton in here. And just because I'm a skeleton, I'm supposed to care? <laughs> Check your privilege, bro. without your head? I feel like that's really important somehow. <sighs> hey, you better not be running off somewhere, because that could cause me a ton of problems. Bjorn Hammer Party. Bjorn? Huh. Weird name. Anyway, thanks for the help, little man. Better kill you now before Wallholler starts looking for you. Wait, 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 wait! What? Just let me see it. I've always wanted to see Helheim. I think I've earned it after all that spelunking. Hmm. All right. One quick look. But you can forget about that gift basket. Milky to bat dung. Milky to bat dung. Come in, bat dung. Bat dung here. What's up, Milky? I got eyes on one of them. She's way up north, together with some kid. And they're walking through, like, a huge gate. I'll need to get closer to get a shot. Roger. Red Eye and me are following one into a shady street. We brought two movies in case things go sideways. Hold on. There's something else over there. What the hell is that? You're wearing the goggles. You'll see crazy nonsense everywhere. Just focus on the target. Oh, holy super nonsense! Just killing people! We gotta go! Back down out! <sighs> this better be gosh darn worth it. Anyway, that's when the rats started biting everyone. And things got really out of hand. Oh, looks like we made it. See if you can see the Viking Hell lady in charge. What's her name? Uh, Helen? It's hell. Wait, what the home is going on here? What's Goblin Coblin doing in Viking Hell? Hey, ask that guy what's happening here. Hey man, what's up? We're renovating, mate. Renovating? Yeah, renovating. Did he say renovating? They're renovating. Renovating! <sighs> Some crazy blonde dude hired somebody to renovate the road to Elheim. Then. That somebody outsourced it to us. Go figure. Why are they renovating? I don't have time for this. I just want to find the Viking Hell Lady. Ask him where she is. She's wondering where Hell is. I don't know who that is, mate. But if she's someone important, she's probably hanging out in Elheim City. Yeah, you've got to solve a bunch of puzzles to get there, though. Do I look like a puzzle solver to you? 
How about I solve your face with my fist instead? Gotch done it! Of all the times to be renovating! Now I gotta go home empty-handed! And my boss is gonna be all, You are in deep feces! I hate it when he says that! Like, we haven't heard that a million times before. Then he's gonna bitch and whine about it for as long as I'm alive! Which is eternity, by the way. That's it! I'm gonna take an eight-hour shower, shave my head, change my name, burn my clothes, and move to a different hell! I'll move to jellyfish hell! Or some other hell for creatures without mouths. Pesto do this, pesto do that, I'm sick of it! Go fetch your own stupid sword at the other side of the cosmos! Pesto, I want you to kill everybody! Pesto, I want you to go on an adventure! Pesto, can you invent a disease that only affects certain species of fish? Does anybody ever ask what Pesto wants? I just want to chill in my room, play bass, and watch Hell Flicks. But no! No one cares about that. It's just Pesto, Pesto, Pesto. Do you know how tired I am of listening to people talk all day, Bjorn? 100%. I'm 100% tired of people just ranting on and on without ever stopping. Sometimes they yammer on for so long, I swear they're on a loop. They just keep ranting on a loop, Johan. How am I supposed to live with that? It ain't something anyone should have to do. Listen into a looping rant. Wait, what was I saying? Oh, right. Now I gotta go home all empty handed. And my boss is gonna be all- Relax, Pesto. I can help with the puzzles. There were a bunch of puzzles in the cave, and I solved them easily. With the superpower I gave you. So you'd really help me out, Bjorn? I only ask for one thing in return. You can have the gosh darn gift basket. What is it with you Vikings and fruit? No. Once we get to Helheim, I get to stay there. Stay there? Why the home do you want to stay in Viking hell? Wait, don't tell me. It's cause Viking heaven sucks, isn't it? That actually pretty much sums it up. Yeah, heavens usually suck. All right, look, we'll ask the Viking hell lady if you can stay. But I ain't promising anything, and... I can forget about the gift basket, I know. Hurry up and solve those stupid puzzles! I can't feel my legs. This is a lever, mate. Let me tell you exactly how it works. You pull it with your arm. What the? I can't get my head up there, Pesto. Bjorn, I think I got an idea. But you ain't gonna like it. What is it, Pesto? What if, and bear with me here, uh, what if you picked up your head, you know, like a ball, and threw it over there? <laughs> Oof, that looked painful. Good thing Vikings love pain, huh? Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you think you're doing, mate? I'm solving these puzzles to get to Helheim, like that guy said. You what? Already? Oh, jeez. My puzzles aren't even done yet, mate. <laughs> How did you solve the cave puzzle so fast? You didn't cheat, did you? Oh, jeez. You've got a whole take off your head and throw it around situation going on there, huh? Wait! All right. Oh, jeez. So you've really got to use your head on this puzzle. The button is way up there, so, uh, actually, I haven't really figured out how anyone's supposed to get up there yet. Wait! What are you doing? You're exploiting the mechanics. One really needs more work. Hey, you're doing great, Johan. Here, take an encouraging high five. <laughs> okay. Your arm fell off, Johan. Oh God. Just, just give me a moment. Don't worry. I'll put it back on. Oh, geez. All right. Uh, look, man, I, I didn't have time to expand this hole to the lever yet. It ended up for me to put up a button up there and, like, a secret passage. Oh, this puzzle is really going to be nice when it's done. Oh, jeez. Will you stop taking off funny parts? 
What's happening right now? Ah, jeez, why? Ah, ah. Oh. oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right, look. The lever's just crammed in that tree up there because they won't let me lease a proper saw tower. And there's supposed to be a ladder up to that door up there, but they still haven't unpacked all the ladders, so... Unless you can jump really high, there's no way for you to reach it, mate. off body parts again. So, I kind of forgot to account for anything bigger than a goblin when I designed this puzzle. And again, I don't have blueprints or proper tools, so it is what it is, I guess. Still good at throwing stuff, even when it's uh detached. puzzle on the fly. You have to look away, and I'm going to set up a combination for these symbols. Banner, uh, you, you're just going to have to guess the order, okay? What the home kind of dumb puzzle is that, you shrimp? Open the door, or Bjohan will kill you. Ah, jeez. Oh, they told me this might happen. Uh, what with all the crazy Vikings coming here and whatnot? Oh, where the crumbs did I put that boom duck they gave me? Oh, jeez. Relax, man. Nobody's killing anyone. We'll look away, and you can set up the runes, okay? Come on, Pesto. Oh, all right then. Then clear off while I set them up. I haven't got all day. Bjorn, you are like the worst Viking ever. Oi, go away so I can set up the symbols. Huh. Are you ready, mate? Set them up. Stay away until I'm done. All right, come back. The symbols are nice and shuffled. Good luck trying out every combination, mates. What? And the bleeding goblin, how did you guess that, mate? There were like six million different combinations. Well, I guess that's it. You solved all my puzzles. Uh, did you have fun? Uh, they tell us we need to make the puzzles fun. Yeah, they were great. Just keep them as they are. Really? Oh, jeez. Thanks, mate. By Eden's dyed hair. If it isn't Bjorn Bearslayer. Hey, uh, you know me? Of course I do. You're Bjorn Bearslayer, the kid who slew an entire bear and went straight to Valhalla. <laughs> Bjorn Bearslayer. Please don't call me that. The bear thing was an accident. Well, you showed that bear who's boss all the same. What are you doing down here? I ditched Valhalla because it made me miserable. Pesto and I are going to ask Hell if I can stay in Helheim. Miserable, eh? 
You don't want to be miserable, Bear Slayer. Like Bear John Johnson used to say, it's important to have hope. Without it, every day is a drag. Ooh. But I'm happy to help you on your journey, Bear Slayer. I can drive you to different taxi stations if you want. My taxi is top-notch. Except for the CD player. That gosh darn thing never worked properly. Thanks, uh... Anthony. Anthony the taxi driver. <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring to it as Beer and Beer Slayer, though, does it? All right, thanks, Anthony. That'd be helpful. See you around, Bear Slayer. You know bears are endangered, right? I said it was an accident. Ow! This lever's all messed up, Pesto. So much for renovating! The idiot at the start had a bunch of levers, the Oharn. Tell him to change this one out. Have that taxi guy drive you back to the entrance. I don't want to wait on you while you casually stroll all the way back there. Hey man, the lever by the taxi station up ahead is broken. Do you mind fixing it? Did someone try to pull the levers with their feet again? I told them that doesn't work, mate. <sighs> Fine. I'll fix it. Right, that's that lever renovated, mate. And remember, mate, you pull it with your arm. Thanks, Goblin Guy. I have a name, mate. It's Dancing. It's time for action platforming, Bjorn. You have to pull the levers and run like an idiot to catch up to platforms. Or as I like to call it, lazy level design. figure this out soon. It was designed by drunk goblins, after all. I'm not even sure these are meant to be puzzles. Navigating through a construction site is a puzzle by nature, Neoharn. Looks like a giant robot. It says Bay Gob on it. Well, time to blindly pull levers and hope for the best. Mate, mate, mate. Mate, mate, mate. Mate, 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 mate. Mate, 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 mate. Mate, 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 mate. Mate, 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 platform the home out of that one this walking tower thing is in the way who parks their walking tower thing in the middle of the road like that you should go up there and complain Bioharn uh... hey oh hi horrible seven head 
Are you back to haunt me about my mistakes in the past? Whisper ideas into my ear. I will never let you have my soul, horrible severed head. What? What? Oh, uh, how can I help you, a different horrible severed head? Uh, we're going to Helheim, and your tower thing is in the way. Can you move it? Oh, uh, I just parked here to, to work on, uh... Oh, Goblin God, who am I kidding? Sure, I'll move the tower. But not because you asked me to, Horrible Severed Head 2. I was going to anyway. Okay. Great, thanks. Oh, Horrible Severed Head 2? Yeah? I forgot the pin code to log into the tower computer. You'll have to find Archie the Mute Painter, Horrible Severed Head 2. He knows all the tower codes by heart. Tell him Henry sent you, but don't even think about giving me the wrong pin code, HSH2. One wrong digit, and the whole tower will self-destruct. Nobody wants that to happen. All right, go on then. Get out of here. Bring me my pin code. What's the pin code, horrible severed head two? Zero. Uh-huh. One. Mm-hmm. Two. Yep. Three. Right. All right. Oh, I think it worked. Bjorn, did you just straight up kill a guy? First of all, it wasn't on purpose. At least, I don't think so. And secondly, he's fine. I think he's just knocked out. He's still breathing. He'll walk it off. Let's go in here, Bjorn. I think it's starting to get chillier. You'll get used to the cold, Pesto. This place smells like sweat! You should try smelling Valhalla. Bjorn, hold up. Who's that guy? Oh, snap. I think that's Balder the Beautiful, Pesto. He's supposed to be the most modest of all gods. He got killed by his brother when Loki... Yeah, 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 I don't care. Hey, Bo Walder! Over here, man! Oh, we got fans already, Ramsey! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah! Yeah, man, huge, uh, <laughs> fans. Look, we're trying to go to Viking Hell, but this whole place is a mess. Maybe you can help us? Welcome, 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 you mighty rock and rollers! We are stoked that you are here to take part in the Hellheim Hassle! Uh, he's not gonna help us, is he? About 12 years ago, everybody wanted to go to Valhalla. They went toe to toe to battle and die and battle some more. Meanwhile, in the down below, no one liked Hell's show. The ruler of the underworld was through. Fellas, 
back to work. I can't believe it makes us do this every day. So, just to be clear, you won't help us get to Viking Hell? I just did! By presenting you the power of rock and roll. And you did! Oh, uh, yeah, yeah! Uh, why ain't anything ever easy? Come on, Bjorn. I'm still cold. <laughs> Look at this guy trying to lift that weight. Be nice, Pesto. He just needs some encouragement. Come on, man. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on! <laughs> Yohard, this is not what I mean when I tell you to assault people. We're gonna get sued! Come on, man. You can do it, man. Come on! Give it everything you can do it. Come on. Tickle, 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 tickle. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, just do it. Ugh, I feel filthy. And I'm the queen of filth. Let's get out of here before someone kicks us out. Tickle, 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 tickle! Give it everything, you can do it! Come on! Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Come on, just do it! There's no use, little dude. I can't drag this huge weight, no matter how much you encourage me. I need my blueberry smoothie to be able to do it. But that douchey bird up there stole it. He says depending on smoothies isn't proper training technique. Hey, Ed. I'm Vedful here. If you need training tips, I'm your guy. Vedraful? What? Man, I can't wait to go back home where people have normal names, like Frank, or Becky, or Andra Mollen, the burner of children. Hey, Vedfulnir, can we borrow that smoothie a second? You're gonna give it to Andre, aren't you? He can't rely on smoothies all the time. That is a proper training technique. Tickle, 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 tickle! <laughs> Any more training tips? Visualize your goals, and then reach them, head. That's the way to do it. My smoothie! Now I don't have to climb all the way up to the Smoothie Mancer's secret shack again! I did it! I really did it! Thank you, little dude! Thank you! My name is Andre, by the way. I will be your friend forever! Oh, that was his good arm, too. Did I, uh, just rip off your... Ah! <laughs> Idiot.
Oh, be nice, Pesto. He was nice. I should tell him I'm okay. Maybe you should rescue your other arm first, Bjorn. Looks like the doors up here are locked, Pesto. Find the keys then, Bjorn. Gosh darn it, do I have to do everything around here? Huh. Pesto, you never told me why you want to go to Helheim. Yes, I have. I'm going there to pick up my stupid boss's stupid new sword. He always orders his stupid swords from the Viking Hell Lady because she knows dwarves. Dwarves are the best blacksmiths in the world, so that makes sense. Who even uses swords anymore? Just get a Boom Duck Super Mag Predator shotgun, like everybody else! It's not that bad, Pesto. You'll get used to it. Uh, who is this now? Hey, man. Can you let us pass? <laughs> Haven't you heard? <laughs> this place is renovating. <laughs> You've got to solve my puzzle. What's your puzzle? <laughs> The puzzle is, oh, you've got to give me one million coins! What? Where are we gonna find that kind of money? Ah, oh, come on! Don't hide your coin from Uncle Fafnir! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> Think I'll hold on to this until you start showing me some coins, Squirt. One million of them! I'm killing this guy! I don't care if it's written or not! Throw me in hell, Jill! I don't care! I'll rot your face off, you overgrown frog! Come on! Don't just stand there! Bring him up! I'll give you a disease so hardcore, you'll have to consult a mathematician every time you have to use the bathroom! I'll make all your teeth fall out and then grow back on the inside of your eyeballs! How'd you like that? I'll call it the frog flu! Oh, gosh darn it! Now I've made myself nauseous! Thanks a lot! Oh, here I go killing you! You better not stop me, Bjorn! Even if we'll both end up in tons of trouble when I do it! I ain't afraid of that, Bjorn! It'll be totally worth it! Even if they come and get us, we'll know that this slick-skinned piece of filth is laying dead in a ditch somewhere, with teeth in his eyes! Okay, I kind of forgot what I was so mad about! But that ain't gonna change anything! I'll punch your face, frog! I'll punch it super hard! And then you'll wish you were dead! And then I'll kill you! So, uh, wish granted, I guess. It's a good thing you haven't stopped me, Bjorn! It's nice to know that you are totally on board with killing this guy in the most painful and disturbing way imaginable. 
Which I am totally capable of, by the way. Wait, uh, what was I capable of? Oh yeah, I'll give you a disease so hard- Pesto, wait. It's not worth it. I think I can still move my leg in there. How does that help? If I can use my leg to mess with his uvula, I can make him throw up. Making frogs throw up. Just another day in the office. Gosh darn it. I need an arm so I can climb up his throat. What? Are you gonna ask him to eat your arm too? No, that would be weird. I'll figure something else out. I found one of his insult glimmers. What the home is an insult glimmer? Dragons have insult glimmers that move when you insult them. <laughs> of course they do. Hey, Fafnir, you are stupid. Hey, Fafnir, you, uh, you suck. Oh, here's one of his laughter glands. Johan, if you're gonna make this guy laugh, please don't tickle him. I'm all aboard with killing him, but tickling him is just creepy and weird. Fine. What do you call a sleeping dragon? A dragon. <laughs> that makes the laughter land What do you call a cool dragon? A dragon. Oh, oh, I'm a dragon. <laughs> Hey, Fafnir. More like... Dumnir. Aw, oh, that agitates my insult glimmer. And here is his pain hormone. Theoharn, I'm 97% sure you're just making this up. This should make him open wide. You're really gonna throw one of your arms in there. Ah! And there it goes. What the heck are you doing, Squirt? <laughs> That really opened up my being weirded out, Sphincter. Yeah, this is getting weird no matter how we approach it. All right, my arm is here. Now I just gotta get my leg back to his throat. Bjorn, seriously. Ah! Ah! Hey, Fafnir. More like... Dumnir. Man, you're making me insecure. What do you call a sleeping dragon? A dragon. Ah, oh, but oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Fafnir. How is the weather up there? Hey, Fafnir, no one likes you. Oh, uh, what? Why are you being so mean? What do you call a cool dragon? A dragon. Ha ha! Oh! There's a uvula. Get ready for a mess, Pesto. This is already a mess. You just make me throw up. <laughs> you people are strange. Who makes somebody throw up rather than just give them one million coins? Ah, the heck with this puzzle business. I'm going back to killing people. Let's just never speak of this again, Bjorn.
Hey, Biohar, what does this say? It says, sorry about the mess. You should have been sorry for that like two levels ago, you stupid gate. Hello, friends and foes! Hee hee! Aha! Ho ho! My name is the Allfather, and welcome to another episode of Duty Storm Carnage! Where we wreck scrubs and look good doing it! What? What? Oh, what's up with my team today? Why do you guys suck so suck. badly? It, it looks like we're one player short. Allfather, I think Bjorn is AFK. Yeah. Who even is that? Uh, his Nick is... Uh, I hate this place underscore two. What? I hate this place underscore two is our best healer. And he is AFK? Oh, gosh darn it! Oh, oh man. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll just uh, edit that part out. <laughs> Hugo, Mango, get over here. Hello, all father. We were just researching Duty Storm 5 tactics. Hey, did you know that you can maximize your damage output by- Skip! Boring! Don't care! Look, listen! <laughs> I need you two to do the thing. The thing where you fly out and find out stuff like a couple of nerds. What do you want us to find out, Allfather? Find out where I hate this place underscore two is! Haha! <laughs> hmm. This place seems a little warmer. That's the mess they were talking about? You ain't gonna see me complain about that. But I will complain about the rain! To home with you, rain! My socks are getting wet! You are never happy, are you, Pesto? Bioharn, my natural habitat is 100 degrees with a hint of sulfur in the air. I don't belong here. Who belongs anywhere, Pesto? Blackberries. Hurry up, Johan. This weather is killing me. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Ah, where the hope did that thing come from? Yeah. Oh man, it's so ugly and big! Oh, I'm so scared, Johan! You know you're a skeleton too, right? You're a skeleton! That thing has teeth and claws and all kinds of stuff! That thing was no normal bear, Pesto. It was floating and stuff. Maybe it was the ghost of that bear you ruthlessly killed, Bear Slayer. Stop calling me Bear Slayer, Pesto. It was an accident. The important thing is that it's gone now. You must avoid that thing at all costs. It seemed pretty dangerous. I will. Thanks for helping us again, Anthony. Now, pull yourself together and pursue your dream. It's what Bear John Johnson would do. Believe in yourself, Bear Slayer. Thanks for the pep talk, Anthony. See you later. How come he gets to call you Bear Slayer and I don't? 
He has a car. Oh no, not him again. Let me guess. You want us to pay you to pass again? As a matter of fact, I already got paid. Ha! Who was dumb enough to give money to a stupid frog? Some bear that was just here gave me a bunch of coin to kill this squirt. Wait, whoa, what? Did you just say a bear paid you to kill Beohard? When the home did this become a drama all of a sudden? I'm sure we can come to an agreement, Fafnir. We already had. Good night, Squirt. Fafnir, wait, no! Bjorn, Bjorn, wake up! Can you see me? Make a sign if you can see me, Bjorn. But I still don't understand how your body works. Listen, Bjorn, that frog hit you so gosh darn hard, your body parts flew all over the place. You've got to find them, and we have to get the home out of here. I think that freaky bear paid the frog to kill you, which is super messed up. This whole thing is very traumatizing for me. We have to get to Viking Hell ASAP. I ain't getting mauled by a ghost bear just to keep my job. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going inside, because I still can't feel my legs. First things first, I've got to try and focus on my head and my other arm. Got to see where they are. What the? Who hung my head on the wall? Hey, our wall decoration speaks. That really adds the edge this place needed. Please take me down. No way. You really tie this place together. You're staying up there, zombie. This is too boring, even for me. Ugh, don't be sad, zombie. You're bumming out the customers. I tell you what, since you're technically an employee, you can have free drinks. How's that sound? I recommend the goblin wine, but stay away from the troll wine. That stuff will knock your knickers right off your knuckles. Eh, uh, not that you have any of those. Don't talk to that thing, Betty. It blew my tower to smithereens. You never know what it's up to. Oh, thanks for the heads up, Henry Bald. <sighs> Having another goblin wine, Betty. Put it on my tab. Just remember to stay off the troll wine, Henry. Yeah, yeah. My arm is for sale in a store? <sighs> Maybe I can buy it back. Hello, and welcome to Stone Mart, because only an N separates a stone from a store. N, we would love to have you. My name is Stonever, and I will be your clerk today. Oh, you must be one of those silent protagonists. That's okay, I'm used to those. He's, uh, missing a head at the moment. Oh, well, here at Stone Mart, we're all about customer satisfaction. I have a brush and a notebook on the floor there, for when you want to talk without words. Just write any questions you have about our products on the notebook, and I'll answer you as well as I can. Are you sick of things being out of arm's reach? Try an extra arm. For the small price of basically free, you can charm with this disarming arm. Cause what's the harm? Buy an arm! Have a nice day! The go-to phrase where there's nothing else to say. That thing is up to something, Betty. I can feel it. Can I have a... Don't talk to it, Betty. Thanks, Henry Bold. I almost forgot. Keep the goblin wines coming, Camilla Beth. Oh, I'll help myself. Henry, do you mind? Shut up, horrible seventh head too. You blew up my tower with all my sleeping meds in it. How will I ever sleep again? Hmm. 
I don't like you, horrible severed arm. Can I have a... Don't talk to it, Betty. Thanks, Henry Bald. I almost forgot. Having another goblin wine, Betty. Put it on my tab. <sighs> Henry Bald, I told you to stay off the troll wine, didn't I? Can I have a goblin wine? Coming right up, zombie. Actually, I don't want it after all. Well, I'm not wasting it. <laughs> hey, the bartender passed out. Who's gonna serve us wine now? Anarchy! Time to go insane or die trying. Gotta get my other arm next. Oh, hey, Bjorn. The clerk backed up everything of value and split when this riot started. Obviously, he left your arm behind. If you're wondering how he left, I, I promise not to tell. All right, now that I'm armed and ahead, I should try and focus on my legs. What are those, elves? Oh man, a wolverine has my leg. Okay, I could try and deal with that wolverine first, or I can try and navigate to my caged up leg. Okay, welcome to our thriving town of River Rum. I am its Earl. Also, my name is Earl. That makes me... Earl, don't forget to meet our zany residents before moving on to Hellheim City. Earl, the bartender has passed out and all the goblins are rioting. You have to do something. Oh, I'm too sad to deal with any of this, kid. Leave me alone. Hey, Earl. Do you mind throwing me on top of that building? We're not on a first name basis yet. Please refer to me by my title, which is Earl. Also, I won't throw you up there. What if you get hurt? I can't have that on my conscience. Come on, uh, Earl. Throw me. I need to get up there. No way, kid. You'd have to make me pretty angry before I did so. Hey, Earl. More like... dumb near. What? Gosh darn it. I really am bad at insults. How am I supposed to get this guy mad at me? It's not breaking and entering if I don't break anything.
Hey Earl, guess what? Building model airplanes is dumb and boring. How dare you talk to an Earl like that? Model airplane building is a respectable and highly complex hobby. I'll show you. Yeah. I can't believe that word. I'll apologize later. Oh, hot gosh darn. We're so handsome and perfect, Tristan L. Don't forget immortal and shiny, Sebastian L. So Not again. Darn immortal and shiny. So glossy and attractive. So gosh darn. I need to scare him away somehow. Maybe I could do something with these rocks. Sorry for hurting you, bud. I just need my leg back. Sorry about that. Sorry, bud. Ooh. Oh, look at that vile creature, Tristanel. Not hot or gosh darn at all. The residents of this place are so gosh darn hideous, Sebastianel. That is why we left Elfheim. They need our talents as body painters. I just hope that not hot gosh darn thing doesn't trespass in our perfect home and mess with Lucy. I think she's in heat. You named our pet leg Lucy, Sebastian L? Are we married to that? The only thing I'm married to is myself, Tristan L. How wise of you. Let me tweet that real quick. Let me take a selfie with you tweeting that. Gosh darn further, you creature of the deeps. Do not make us chase you. Get him, Tristan L. Hot gosh darn. locked us out of our own hot gosh darn house i suggest we venture to the cafe and deal with this like never hot gosh darn that is a remarkable idea tristan l indeed just gotta find my torso now Tommy, when you're setting up a puzzle, it's important to disassemble all the parts and clean them. Clean parts means a clean heart, as my uncle used to say. Then he drank bleach, and now he can't process the concept of numbers. 
Look, mate, you need to stop taking apart our puzzles. No one asked you to fix them. Well, somebody's got a getter done, kitty boy. These puzzles are barely glued together. Oh, it reminds me of my Aunt Olga. She was so old, her spine had its own seat at the dinner table. What? No! And take down that... that whatever it is you built back there. You used Goblin Goblin property. You have to return that stuff. I built them to show you how to get her done, kitty boy. Now pass me that screwdriver. Hello, sir. I think you have my torso. You mean my table, kitty boy? I just found it lying on the ground. It's my only furniture that isn't made from deer antlers. Well, it obviously belongs to me, sir. So I'm gonna need it back. You know, back in my day, we didn't just get things back, kitty boy. We had to work two weeks straight for an apple that turned out to be a rock-painted red. Then we sold our teeth at the farmer's market to afford our first piece of clothing. Look, man, what do I have to do to get back my torso? You need to work, of course. You'll have to solve the Einar's crazy puzzle extravaganza. It has moving parts and is entirely made of deer antlers. Takes ten hours to solve. No, no, no. You're not making this kid go in that thing. Give him his torso back, or I'm telling Balder. Oh, fine. Puzzles aren't done yet anyway. Come back later if you want to solve some crazy puzzles, kid. Do you know what this is called, Tommy? Yes, it's a capacitor. <laughs> No, no, that's what they want you to believe. The proper term is a foxball double bottle. Only skilled crafters know this. That is so not true. Bear Slayer, you made it to Riverum. Not without getting torn apart by a stupid frog. You look fine, Bear Slayer. Thanks. I don't think I can be killed when I'm already dead. Right, Pesto? Uh, don't ask me. I don't gosh darn know. Uh, I'm not the one who resurrected you. Uh, not that you were resurrected or anything. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh, hey, Anton, or whatever your name is. What are you up to? You, uh, you old goose? <laughs> Oh, I was just reminiscing over dead musicians. You know how it is. Uh-huh. That's a normal thing to do. Anyway, I should probably get going. Got a taxi business to run, you know. <laughs> See you around, immortal bear slayer. Don't let any more dragons mess with you. Bjorn, you idiot! Didn't I tell you I ain't supposed to be resurrecting people? Why do you blurt it out to everybody and their grandma willy-nilly? I'm sorry. I forgot. Look everywhere for that gosh darn kid. I'm not losing skill points against Loki's team just because you're a bunch of casuals. 
Hey, welcome to another episode of Where the Hell Is I Hate This Place underscore two, friends and foes. Uh, as you can see, we're uh, dealing with a tedious fetch quest today. <laughs> Hello, all father. Hey, we found Bjorn. Ah, Hans and uh, uh, Miguel, what's new? Hey, did you know that we saw him hanging out with one of Satan's people? Yeah, he was right down at... What? Goat is stealing my souls? I'll show that farm animal what happens when you steal my soul! Oh, my soul, Father. That wasn't what we... Skip! <laughs> Look, listen, I get it. Boring. <laughs> goat is stealing my soul, so I'll have to go to hell and kick his stupid goat butt to get him back. Hilder! Where's my customized Boom Duck Superman Predator shotgun? We are going goat hunting! Out and out! Man, the old father never listens to us, Munin. Hey, did you know I'm getting pretty sick of his bullcrap, Hugin? Holy gosh darn! You are kidding me! This is too gold! It hurts when I breathe, and I ain't even sure if I have lungs! You get used to it. No one can get used to this. Hey, Bjorn, if you still feel like you ain't got the hang of how your different body part combos work, you could try them out in this thing, but hurry! That's a good idea, Pesto. I just want to get to Viking Hell as soon as possible. And I'm tired of watching you flail around with no control whatsoever while I freeze to death. Thanks. There you are. You're that kid that can detach body parts. I heard Rob did all talk about you. My name is Abilo. Nice to meet you. Wait, you are that kid, right? What do you think? Be nice, Pesto. Yes, I am that kid that can detach body parts. Oh, excellent. I made these puzzles just for you. Check out the custom buttons. designing those buttons. I love buttons. And also doors. Great. She loves buttons and doors. Hey, Abby, how is anyone else supposed to use those buttons? Hey, maybe you can get a job here. Do whatever you did to the kid to future visitors. I didn't do anything. He was like that when I got here. 
Weren't you, Bjornhorn? Yup. This is just genetic. Then I'll just make custom buttons for everybody. I can make a sneezing button for people that sneeze a lot. Or like, oh, vegan buttons. I'll love that. Man, if everyone around here had your work ethic. Oh, what? The door is frozen shut. That's great. Finally, we get to try out this awesome heater I invented. Look how many buttons he has. But I also threw in some levers. I like levers. All right. Turning this thing on is supposed to be a group effort. But with your condition, I think we can pull it off with just three people. I'm not a physical being. Oh, all right. Whatever. We can try to two-man it then. Come talk to me when you want to hear the instructions. First, you got to stand on that button there with your torso to turn on the power, okay? Once the power's on, I'll start yanking on these different genaminators here while you keep them going. Those two special lightenators show what you need to do to keep the genaminators running. But you don't have much time before the genaminators stop again. Okay, kitty? So keep doing whatever the lightenators say and we shall be fine. If the genaminators stop, I'll have to start yanking all over again. I mean, I like yanking, just not as much as doors and buttons. By the way, my tools are made of ice. I like ice, but that means they'll melt away as I'm yanking. When they melt, I will yell, tool! And you have to throw me a new tool for one of my tool buckets. I can't move on to the next genaminator without a tool. So, you gotta hurry, okay, kitty? Do you have any questions? Let me know if you want me to repeat everything in the exact same words and tone of voice. Like a goddess! Keep going! Let 
the yanking commence. One yank here and one yank there. Let the yanking commence. Hold on. Hold your laminators are on. Now, just have to yank a little bit on this. Flammable troll wine on an open flame. All this fire made me realise I love fires, not just buttons and doors. Thank you for helping me discover my true passion, Giddy. Time to light stuff on fire. See ya. Another problem dealt with, with absolutely no negative repercussions, I'm sure. You coming, Pesto? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Let me just soak up the heat a little bit. Look, Munin, Bjorn is here. Did you know that we got jumped by a bear, Bjorn? Yeah, they can run up to 40 kilometers per hour. Bjorn, who are these two? They're Hugen and Munin. What are you two doing down here? Did Odin send you? Oh, we don't work for Odin anymore. Hey, did you know that the idiot thinks Satan stole you, Bjorn? Yeah, he went to hell to battle him. Who went to hell and did what now? Bjorn, who the home is Odin? Oh, he's just a harmless little god in charge of Val... Uh, uh, a Wallhaller. Nothing to worry about. We're fine. Fine? He's a psychopath. What the hell, Huggin? Shh. Did you know that he made me eat all my feathers once? Just because I team killed him by accident. Oh, yes. He's probably destroying hell as we speak. Killing anybody that stands in his way. Or at least seriously injuring them. Uh... All right, that's it. This adventure is canceled. You're going back to Wallholler, Bjorn, and I'm going back to hell. Now stand still so I can kill you. Wait, Pesto, we've come so far. I don't care, Bjorn. We both have to go back to where we belong. No. Gosh darn it, Bjorn. Don't make me get ugly. I'm not going back after all we've been through, Pesto. First you throw me in with goblins, bears, and frogs. Then your psycho god starts wrecking my home. And now you're making me do this! Take this, Bjorn! Stay dead, Bjorn! Pesto, calm down. I have to save hell! Die, Bjorn! What the? Stop popping back up, Johan! How are you gonna save hell, Pesto? Let the gods deal with stuff among themselves. Satan doesn't even have a gosh darn weapon! And guess who he's gonna blame for that? Then let's go get him his weapon. Stop making sense, Bjorn, and stand still! Hiya! No! Stop coming back! Pesto, seriously, stop it. Hell can tell Satan this whole thing was a misunderstanding. She'll say it was my fault for resurrecting you. It's like you said, the road to Helheim is a mess. They couldn't have expected you to get there on your own. Yeah! Why the home won't you die? I ain't got time for this! You really want to go back to hell empty-handed? Die, you are! Gosh darn it! How many lives do you have? Take this, Bjorn! You can't kill me, Pesto. Gosh darn it. Why in the gosh darn home did you become immortal? 
You're not supposed to be. I can't just leave you here. If I lose track of you, I'll never hear the end of it. I have to hand you over to a local god before I can leave. One that isn't a psychopath like the bird said. Gosh darn it. Fine. Fine! Come on. Heilheim ain't gonna come to us. Hey, did you know we've been hanging here for like an hour? If you help us down, we'll help you out with some of the puzzles up ahead. Do it. We might get to Viking Hell faster with more help. You got it, Pesto. You got it, Pesto! Look at me! My name is Bjohard! I'm immortal! I love to ruin Pesto's life, and my name is stupid! You two! If you tell anyone I used my powers, I'll kill you! I don't have a permit here! Hey, did you know that we don't care about stuff like that anymore? is called a sloth? Oh, sure, I learned that on Viking Google. What does this stupid gate say, then? Hope you packed a jacket. Gosh darn it! Can I try to kill you again, just once? Come on. Hello, friends and foes! Welcome to part two of our fetch quest. We need to go all the way down to hell. And now we'll fight the boss and claim our prize. I have to admit, <laughs> I don't know where to go. Is it uh, this way? Why is this level so poorly designed? Goat! Come out, goat! I know you're stealing my souls. I want them back, you jerk! I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... Enemies are spawning over here, so I guess we're going that way. Hehehe, ha ha ha! Ho-ho! Come out, goat! Or else I'll raise this place to the ground with you in it! Where's my soul, goat? I know you have it! What the feces is going on? It's One-Eye. He's blowing up things and rambling about you being a soul thief. What? I have more apes than I can count. Why would he think I'd want more of the things? Didn't you send Pesto to Helheim today? Maybe she messed something up. Pesto is one of my best. She would never. Sending your people to my domain to steal my souls, huh? You can't even do your own dirty work, goat! Okay. War, can you go to Helheim and figure out what's going on? Also, bring me my gosh darn sword. I am Satan. I need a sword. Dude, there's no way I'm going there today. I spent all morning whacking gangsters. I'm off the clock for the rest of the day. Well, it's not like I can go. I'm Satan. I can't just leave hell willy-nilly. I shall do it, Lord. Ugh, gosh darn it. Famine. Hi, Famine. I shall travel to the land of the pagans to confront pestilence and recover your artifact. My liege, have faith in me. Okay, fine. Sheesh, just go. I will not disappoint you, my lord. I exist only to serve you. Gosh darn it. He's so cringy. I think he's cute. Ooh, headshot! <laughs> you are kidding me! Kidding me! Okay, I'll admit it, it's getting kind of nippy now. Nippy? Nippy? That's 
not even a real word! All right, Degbe, meet me on the other side. I'll see you in ten. If you're late, you're fired. This place better be industry standard by now, or gosh darn, I am gonna fire people. Oh, what's this? You folks, customers. Well, how do you like this place? It's paradise, isn't it? That great. Another goblin. Name's Mike Cobble, CEO of Goblin Cobble. Listen, if you ever need something cobbled in your version of the afterlife, you can tell me. Here's my card, take it over, and give me a call. Yeah, we hired your company to fix a ferry in hell once. No one ever showed up! Oh, yeah. The guy in charge of that project got decapitated. <laughs> Sorry we forgot to give you a heads up. <laughs> Pun intended. I can't jump properly on this snow, Pesto. Johan, I've got an idea, but you ain't gonna like this one either. All right, let's hear it. You ever build an ash man? You roll up a ball of ash on the ground, and it gets bigger. We do it for hell Christmas. Guess you could do that with snow, too. Detach your head and roll it around. in hell is this? Why are they standing still? You're all fired, you slackers! I think they're all frozen. What? That's breach of contract! You'll be hearing from me, liars! Oh, boy. These puzzles don't look industry standard at all. Hmm. Carrot Top! See if you can solve this garbage. Maybe we can get away with this. What are you doing out here, Mr. Cobbles? Oh, I'm doing an employee and inventory inspection. You know, firing some, promoting some, making sure things are running smoothly. Well, are you satisfied? Hmm, well, let's see. Every area so far is either unfinished, abandoned, or ridiculous. One of our expensive walking tires is blown up. There's a riot in River Room, which is horrible for work morale. One of the areas was straight up on fire. On fire? Sheesh. Who would do such a thing? The bag all is missing, which is bad news for everybody involved. And all the employees are either dead, lazy, or insane. So no, I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna have Digby fly me back to the office after this but We've got a lot of calls to make. Hey! Do you know any good puzzle designers? Preferably somebody who works for exposure. Oh, goblin hell, what does he want? Mr. W, how are you, sir? <laughs> to what do I owe this uh, surprise? Oh, oh the, the puzzles. Oh, yes, Mr. W. I'm inspecting them right now. They're, um... Looking great. This place will be up and running any time now, sir. Five more years. Talks. Done by the end of the year. Uh, uh, yes, 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 Mr. W. I have read the, uh, the contract. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. W. Goblin Coblin are the best contractors in the business. We always get the job done. I'll make sure Polyester Valley is running smoothly too, Mr. W. Once this place opens up, your products will be the first thing anyone sees before entering the city. Listen, Mr. W, I gotta go, sir. Lots of uh, incredible puzzles to inspect. Hey, say hi to little Sammy from me. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, he's late again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway, bye, Mr. W. <laughs> you gosh darn out lobster. Maybe tell us we're gonna work in a frozen over hell next time. Carrot, how are those puzzles going?
Munin, Bjorn is coming. Hey, did you know that while it's hard to jump on deep snow, you can still jump normally on buttons? We brushed off the snow for you. Yeah, did you know that we're helpful helpers? Thanks, Hugen and Munin. Holy cow. He remembers our names, Munin. Hey, did you know that he's incredible? I told you to make me here, not crash the helicopter and brace to death, you idiot! You're fired! I think he's still alive. Oh, Digby, you can't die right. Carrot! Digby always carries a thermos of hot coffee in his helicopter. Go get it so we can defrost him. Excuse me, have you seen the propellers in the way? What's the matter, Mr. Immortal? You can kill yourself on the propellers over and over until they malfunction or something. Are you kidding me, Carrot? Just roll up into a snowball to protect yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. I liked my idea. Coffee? How the hell did he get up there? Drink up, you slacker. You feel better, Digby? Nah. Go fix the heli. Oh, you got places to be. Wow. That's the best mechanic I've ever seen. Even I'm impressed. Hurry up, Digby. Hurry up, Digby. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait, where are you going? Don't you dare leave me here, Digby. You're double fired. Gosh darn it. This is the sex time a pilot deserted me somewhere. Ah, Carrot and Skelly. Ha. <laughs> Looks like I'm sticking with you two for a while. Call me Skelly again. See what happens. Oh, come on. Are you always this cranky?
Great. Well, then, yes, sorts. See you later, kids. I need some heat while I make some calls. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Only people over 18 are allowed in here. I'm over 18 in human, goblin, and dragon years, you goof. Let me in. All right, all right. Man, this place looks warm. We're short on time, but could we just pop in and chill a little bit? Okay. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta be over 18 to get in here. So scram. Gosh darn it, Mioharn. You baby. I'm like over a thousand years old, Pesto. As I said, baby. Oh, gosh darn it. What is it now? What? Something cringy. All this way cometh, Mioharn. I can feel it. Hurry up and solve the remaining puzzles. I don't want to deal with whatever it is. What the hell? Two? Rock and roller. That's the beauty of this place. You've got to solve puzzles and get there all by yourself. Take me to Hellheim. Hey, come on, rock and roller. There's no need to be all sue me about it. Hellheim. Ow! Oh, what are you doing? Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, God, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Ramsey! Ra Ramsey! Run! what happened to me. Listen, I need to get out of here. You have to help me get to Polyester Valley. It's on the way to Helheim. Okay. Hmm. We haven't seen this before. These puzzles are voice activated. <laughs> it's a new mechanic. To keep it fresh, get your head close to it and yell, open. No! Open. Open. Rock and roll! What's Polyester Valley? More stupid puzzles? Oh, no, no. <laughs> there aren't any puzzles there. Polyester Valley is where Mr. W displays his newest products, product placement. Uh, that was his agreement with Hell. In addition to getting paid to build puzzles for Hellheim, he also insisted that they showcase his other products outside the entrance. Then he went and outsourced the job to us anyway. Talk about being a slave's bag. Uh, not that any of that matters now. I suddenly realized I want to resign as CEO of Goblin Company. You know, let some new blood take over. Also, unrelated question. You know any discreet plastic surgeons that work for exposure? What the home are you talking about? What happened in that bar? Nothing. I was just minding me own business, and some sort of entity started asking me questions about Mr. W. <laughs> but did I tell them? <laughs> no, not without a fight. <laughs> I told you. You also keep telling us about him, and we didn't even ask. Ah, oh, come on, I've been cryptic.
did you say? Both men. Polyester Valley. Our surveying everybody's dead. Oh, why, oh, why didn't that old gazer invest in more heaters? Oh, boy. Who's gonna fly me home now? Bjohar, look. That's the gate to Viking Hell, isn't it? We made it! Yes, I knew we could do it, Pesto. Do you want to come with us to Helheim, Mr. Cobbles? Maybe someone there can help you. No, you you get used to it. Ah, oh, where, where is Bjohorn? Bjohorn, you there? I'm here, and over there. I'm a little bit everywhere. Bjohorn, Bjohorn, can you move? I think so. Try to get all your bits and pieces to me. I'll teleport us out of here. Hurry up, carrot, or else I'll end up like the other frozen idiots up there.
You coming? I'm trying. jerk even find me man will you shut up we get it you've got your own storyline with a character arc and everything but right now we've got bigger things to worry about Annoying goblin. Okay, here we go. Hold your breath. What? Oh. oh, goblin. God. Told you to hold your breath. Man, what are the odds if we get struck Why? by a gosh darn avalanche right happening? before we reach Hailing? So That's some first class bad luck right there, Bioharn. I can't believe the universe just keeps messing with us. Pasto. Look. Leave us alone, you scary bear ghost! So what if Yohar ruthlessly murdered you a million years ago? Stuff dies all the time! Get over it! It was an accident! Yeah, that's right! Get out of here, you stupid, terrifying bear ghost! Pesto, are you sure that's a ghost? It was flying. Ghosts can't fly. Oh, can't they now? Didn't know you were a ghost expert. I was a ghost once, and I couldn't fly. Just because you sucked at ghosting doesn't mean ghosts can't fly. Ghosts can do lots of crazy things. Fine. You coming, Mr. Cobbles? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, the helicopters. How the goblin hell am I supposed to disappear? No! What the hell is this? Ah! Uh oh. Uh, mm. Looks like the defense mechanisms have activated the force fields. Ugh, they're basically invisible walls. You have to navigate to the force field generator and turn it off. Not a physical being, huh? Shut up! Be careful, Carrot. There are probably other defense mechanisms. All right. I'll tag along to Hellheim. They better have a vehicle or a portal or something I can borrow. Uh, pesty or oh, <laughs> Pesto? You're from regular hell, right? I heard that place is great. How's the job market there lately? I don't know. It's fine. Fine, huh? <laughs> I can do fine. Fine is fine enough. What makes you think we want you there? Your gosh darn goblins can't be trusted with anything. The guy got decapitated, okay? Look, I'll fix your gosh darn fairy myself.
This is getting complicated. Is there a way of seeing the force fields, Mr. Cobbles? The force fields are magnetic. Only robots can see them. Hmm. the force fields now. Pesto's blessing. The gift that keeps on giving. Creepy and weird, but okay. So about me moving to hell? Well, there has to be something I can do there. I have a degree in engineering, architecture, and business management. That's impressive. Man, go to hell and ask Satan yourself. Don't drag me into it. Right, fine. What does Satan like? I don't know. Coffee, I guess. He's been into skating, too, lately. Right, okay. I can work with that. Thanks! Resigning as the CEO of Gavlin Cabin, effective immediately. I need you to come down here and headhunt a new candidate for the. Uh, uh, hello, Barry? Gosh darn you, smartphone batteries! out for other defense mechanisms. I was referring to that thing. It's a 15th gen laser master. It'll blast you to smithereens if you're not careful. The force field button is up there. Press it and let's bail.
Oh, watch out for the gosh darn turret, Carrot. Use the force fields to your advantage. Oh, man. Good job, Carrot! Go, go, go! I ain't getting turned into Swiss cheese by no turret! We aren't getting through this gate. Gosh darn it. Johan, start digging. Oh, Bear Slayer! Hey, Anthony. What's up? I was just trying to listen to some tunes when I saw that avalanche. That gate to Helheim is buried in snow, huh? Yeah, we probably have to dig. No need, Bear Slayer. Just use this ladder and go through the mountain. It's way faster. That's very helpful, Anthony. Thanks. Hey, I'm just here to help you through the tough times. Just like Bear John Johnson. Go get him! Who was that guy? He's like a taxi driver or something. I don't know. Aren't the taxis around here self-driving? Huh. Huh. Oh, snap! A heli in one piece! Now we just need to find a pilot! Uh-oh. What is it this time? It says Huldra lives here. That could get... Uh, interesting. What is a Waldra? It's... I mean, she's like a lady. You're not supposed to look at her tail, or something. Why the home does she have a tail, then? I don't know. I, look, let's just try to go through. If we see Holdra, we'll just say hi and be on our way. Oh, to gabble in hell with that. I'm not going in there, Carrot. Listen, I'll just stand around next to the helicopter we saw. If you find a pilot, send them my way. Wuss. Okay, up to you, Mr. Cobbles. How about you, Pesto? Want to wait with him? No, no, I'm good. All right, then. What is this, Pagan? You dare lead me to a dead end? No, no, no. Not at all, rock and roller. <laughs> There's supposed to be a road here, I swear! Hey, it must have been covered by... Rock an avalanche or something. Mm, then dig. What? Dig. You, you can't be serious. Ow! Ow! All right, all right, I'll dig. Are you scared, Bjorn? Um, no. Why would I be scared? Because you know you're always like, ooh, I don't wanna. Ooh, calm down. I don't know. I'm not scared. I just don't like violence. Heh. <laughs> Worst Viking ever. Hey, folks. What you doing? Oh, gosh darn. There she is. Uh, keep it cool, Bjorn. Uh, hey there, ma'am. Uh, we're just passing through. Nice to meet you. Bye. Just passing through, huh? Well... I'm not gonna let you do that. Oh, no. Without a nice conversation with you first. Ah, great. Pesto, stop staring at it. We'd love to stop for a chat, ma'am. Make sure you don't mention her, uh, you know what, Bjorn. So, what brings you up here? Oh, uh, it it's a long tail. What did you just say? Oh, for gosh darn sakes, Bjorn. Sorry. Hmm. Why don't you just use the gate like everyone else, though? Well, see, we're being tail... Uh, followed. I meant followed. Oh, gosh darn it. You and your stupid mouth. There have been so many goblins and creatures around lately. When will they be finished with the renovation? I don't know. It looks like they're behind schedule. Behind? Like the tail on my behind? Oh, come on. You're so rude, Bjorn. Hmm. Oh, if you're gonna be around for a while, would you mind getting me a juicy fish? Not many fish in this cave. 
And I'm craving that omega-3. I'll get you a fish as big as a whale, ma'am. What? Whale? Tail? Oh, come on. Gosh darn it, Bjorn. That ain't even how you usually speak. Hmm. Well, that was a nice chat, Woldra. Time to bail. I mean, leave. Let's go, Bjorn. All right. I guess I can let you go. But you are very rude. Sorry. And my tail freaks out when people mention it. So have fun trying to navigate around it in there. Didn't even notice you had a tail, ma'am. Bjorn! Well, there it is. Tickle, uh, tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickling stuff. Again? Pesto, can you deal with this? How? I ain't a physical being. Nice try, Pesto. Use your crazy green fireballs. Ah, fine, but don't tell him. Thanks, Pesto. Yeah, yeah. Look at me! I'm Johan! I don't like violence, but I'm super okay with Pesto throwing fireballs at people. Pesto, I know for a fact that your fireballs are mildly uncomfortable at worst. It's not like we're seriously injuring her. What? But... Over here, Pesto. All right, stand aside, Bjorn. Thanks. Whatevs. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle! Over here, Pesto. Tickle, 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 tickle. Hey, Bjorn. What the home is up with all this furniture? Oof. I'm afraid we're in dry country, Pesto. What the home is that? A drag is the reanimated corpse of someone who is obsessed with furniture. Ah, so not to be confused with straight up zombies then. Oh, hey, Bjorn. Hey, did you know that a drag's vision is strictly furniture based? Yeah. I think blending in with a background and standing still is a good idea. Hey, did you know that the umbrella stand is an excellent hiding spot for arms? Don't forget to stand still when they're close. that your head would look perfectly disguised on that statue? Hey, did you know that? I knew that. Oh, 
piranha pine, eastern white pine. Ah, what movement is this furniture from? Either way, it looks great. Red oak. This furniture, it really ties the room together. What movement is this furniture from? Uh, either way, it looks great. Piranha Pine. Eastern White Pine. Large Pool Pine. Not again. Oh look, a good old drag lamp pile. Hey, did you know that if you put a lamp where your head is, you'll disguise your entire body? You know, cause you will. Hey, did you also know that I'm terrified? Piranha pie. Eastern White I haven't seen this furniture around here before. Whoever bought it is a genius. Red oak. Birch. Chair. Ah, I haven't seen this furniture around here before. Whoever bought it is a genius. MDF. This furniture reminds me of my childhood. I have no idea why. Red Oak Birch Cherry I Hmm This furniture is new. We needed one of those. Oak Maple Pine Walnut Mahogany Oak Maple Hey, look, Bjorn, an antique chest of drawers. You can move it around with your legs. Hey, did you know that it's also great storage for your other limbs? Hey, did you also know that you can climb on it if you want? Hmm? Red. 
Rook. Bash. Oak. Maple. Hmm. This furniture is new. We needed one of those. MDF. Plywood. Veneer. Particle board. Ugh. Don't like particle board. Beach. Ash. Oak. Red oak. Birch. Cherry. Wow! The feng shui is strong with this furniture. I like it. MDF plywood. Particle board. Don't like particle board. Spruce. Red cedar. Fur. Large. Yes. Whoa. I think that's it for the drags, Bjorn. We'll see you later. Hey, did you know that I might need a new pair of pants, Hugin? Oh yeah, they're on sale at Vicmark. Did you know that? Hey? Hey, dog. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just cataloging these stupid secret puzzles the goblins decided to put in here. <sighs> what kind of puzzles am I solving this time? I know that voice. Bjorn? Bjorn Hammer Party? Aw, oh, snap! I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Helga Dog, don't you remember me? Uh... <sighs> Hold on. Bjorn, Bjorn, what are you doing, dog? We're going to battle! Remember me now? Oh, holy gosh darn! Helga! Pesto, this is Helga. She was my friend back when we were kids. And alive. Hi. Bjorn, what are you doing down here, dog? Aren't you supposed to be in Valhalla? It's a long story, Helga. I escaped Valhalla, and now Pesto and I are gonna ask Hel if I can stay in Helheim. You what? But being in Valhalla is every Viking's dream! Just... Uh... I didn't like it there, okay? And they forced me up there on a technicality. I'd rather be here, Helga. Trust me. All right, dog. Helm is just outside this cave. Help me catalog these puzzles, and then we can go find Hel. These puzzles are all about throwing rocks around. See if you can solve them. Helga, how do you change your appearance like that? I'm a ghost, dog. Everyone knows ghosts can shapeshift. They can? Man, no one told me any of this when I was a ghost. You suck at being things, Bjorn. How did you end up in Helheim, Helga? You loved battling. Ugh, I died of boredom, dog. Battling gets boring when no one manages to kill you. I, on the other hand, have probably put Odin's kids through Viking college with the number of people I've sent to Valhalla. <laughs> I like her. And now I'm here, still dying of boredom. Helen is so boring with its no battle policy. I like boring. Thank you. 
dog and let's move on. What the hell is that sound? Whatever it is, it's attracting every drow and their mama towards us. Well, that's our cue to get the home out of here. This lever isn't reacting. What? I just used it this morning. Anthony? <laughs> uh, why the home did he wreck that wire? I knew there was something up with that guy. Uh, dogs? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll blast them with my awesome plague balls. Hello. Oh, they're immortal. Great. We're immortal too, Pesto. We'll be fine, right? Oh, sure. They'll just blast us with those shotguns again and again forever. Totally fine. Listen, Bioharn. We'll try and force that stupid door open while you buy us some time. I don't know, throw rocks at them or something. But that's violent, Pesto. Don't start with that gosh darn crap now, Bioharn. Why are these gates so well built? I got one, Pesto. Got one. Sorry. Come on, you stupid Ouch. Come Sorry on. about that. Guys, I'm sorry. that keeps trying to kill you just help us? You idiots think I'm the bear ghost that keeps trying to kill you? Do I look like a gosh darn bear ghost to you? I'm bear death! I'm looking for the bear ghost! Then why do you keep chasing us around? I just wanted to talk to you! Look, kid, I've been looking for that bear you killed for over a thousand years. After this idiot resurrected you, he resurfaced. You gotta help me find him. You've seen him. His name's Anthony. Anthony the taxi driver? Anthony the insane shape-shifting poltergeist that has been in the wrong hell for way too long. For whatever reason, he wants to get rid of you. I saw him set off an entire avalanche. He's bound to show up again, so I'm tagging along. Great. You two can deal with that after I get my sword and get the home out of here. Bjorn, climb up there and reconnect the wire. Okay, I think I fixed it. I have no idea what's going on. I think you should deal with this war. No way, man. I'm off the clock. I'm not letting work interfere with my free time anymore. But this is your thing. No, it is not. It's God business. That's all you. You can't just steal my souls, goat. That means war, and you know it. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. Holy gosh darn home! We finally made it! Let's find hell before something else tries to kill us. Word, Bjorn. No more bull. I'm gonna go and see if I can find Anthony. There she is, Pesto. Whoa. Half her face is super hot, and the other half is disgusting. Yeah. Wait, which half are you talking about? 
Which half are you talking about? Uh, it doesn't matter. Go get your sword. Don't forget to ask her if I can chill here. Welcome to Helheim. My name is Hel. That's with one L, not to be confused with Hel, which you are from, I assume? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Pesto. I'll assume that's mm, pesto, as in slang for pestilence, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, and not as in the Italian sauce. I dislike confusion. Uh-huh. I'll also assume you're here to pick up Satan's new sword. Um, it's packed and ready for you. It is handcrafted by our best dwarf and blacksmiths. And by dwarf, I of course mean the Norse creature. Not the kind that thrives in packs of seven, and in the company of princesses. Yeah, I got that. I assume your journey was free of inconvenience? Yeah, sure, it was fine. Listen, I've got another favor to ask. See that kid there? His name is Biohard, and he would like to hang out in your hell. That's cool, right? Who doesn't want a couple extra souls in their hell? Hmm, I will need to inspect him first. Biohard, come over here! Hey, ma'am. I'm Bjorn Hammerparty. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> this is an Einharjar, one of Odin's souls. He can under no circumstances stay here. Please be rid of him before that psychopath shows up and destroys this realm. Baldur would hate that. Inform me when the child is gone. Then you may take the sword. Listen, lady. This kid went through hell. Uh, literally. To get here. He ain't going nowhere. If you really wish to stay, you will have to take it up with Odin. And by take it up with, I mean have a battle to the death with. What? Oh, man. I don't want to battle Odin. I don't want to battle anyone. That's the whole point. Wait, Bjorn. Gods don't care about whose soul they have, dog. They only care about how many souls they have. Can confirm that, Bjorn. Satan doesn't even know the name of any of his souls. We can summon Odin and just tell him to take my soul instead of yours, dog. Do the old switcheroo. Are you sure, Helga? All they do is play first-person shooters up there these days. Do they still have unlimited boar and meat? Kinda. They have boar chips and meat energy drinks. Then count me in. Are you cool with this? Oh, I don't care. And by don't care, I mean... I, I mean, I don't care. That, that's what I mean. But how do we summon Odin? Go to Mimir's well and find Odin's eye. He put it in there long ago. Mimir's well is under the Yggdrasil tree. Return to me afterwards for further instructions. You go ahead and get the eye, dog. I'm gonna go throw all my stupid office stuff right in the trash. Right in! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Uh, I wanted to take the elevator down to Mimir's well. Only cherished citizens of Helheim get to go down there. Take this petition that says, I'm a valued citizen of Helheim. Have five Helheimians sign it, and I'll let you use the elevator. Get 11 Helheimians to sign it, and I'll throw in a nice bow tie. Now get out of here and don't come back before you have physical proof that you're liked. I assume you've retrieved the eye. Uh, no. By the way, you want to sign my, um, petition? I strongly dislike petitions. Please, don't bother me about it again. Uh, hey, man. Welcome to Syndra and Brock Smithing. I'm Syndra. And I am Brock. Let us know if you need some smithing done. Uh, anything from keys to bottle openers to... Magical artifacts of unlimited power, whatever you feel like, man. But there's no limit to what we can do. We are dwarves, after all. Can you give me Satan's sword already? Oh, we can't do that. Hell told us you two need to deal with Odin or something first. Ugh. 
Hey, Sindre and Broke. Could I get your signatures on this document? It proves I belong in Helheim. Oh yeah, the old elevator document. Uh, give it here. Rock and I'll sign it. Here you go. Thanks, guys. And remember, if you need any smithing done, we're the guys for it. Welcome to a new record. Listen, we're a little low on music, so if you cheese could use our booth to record three songs, we'll give you a cosmetic item. Cool, huh? Hey, uh, can you sign this for me? Sure, whatever. Thanks. Hi. Oh, hey boy. I haven't seen you before. Which one of the Norse gods are you? Oh, I'm actually one of the Greek muses. I'm here on a job. <laughs> I'm supposed to inspire humans to create Viking-themed pop culture. But I need some inspiration myself before I can inspire others. Oh, why don't you do something Viking-y? Haha, <laughs> uh, no thanks. Hey, wanna sign my petition? Um, it's about me being a valued Helheim citizen. Oh, my signature won't count, boy. I'm just a tourist. Oh, okay. Well, thanks anyway. Bye! I didn't know there were cat Norse gods. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a Norse god. I'm a god of protection and cats. I'm just visiting from the Egyptian pantheon. Thought I'd see what all the fuss is about Vikings and Norse myth. You like it? I'm not a puzzle gal myself, but we could benefit from something like this back home, I think. Hey, do you want to sign this, uh, petition? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm just a tourist. My signature wouldn't count. Okay. Thanks anyway. Have a party! Welcome to the Stone People Welfare Center. I am Stonerbeth. We work around the clock to spread the word about Stone People and ensure we're treated well. And by work around the clock, I mean stand completely still. Listen, word travels fast in the Stone People community. If you help all the Stone People on the road to Helheim, We'll reward you handsomely. Hi, Stonebeth. I'm supposed to get signatures to prove I'm a valued member of Helheim. Can you sign this for me? Oh, you need to access the elevator, huh? Hmm, sure. Everyone deserves welfare, stone people or not. Welcome to the Yggdrasil office building structure. We catalog and register all the puzzles in Helheim. I quit, Daniel L. I quit this boring, horrible job! See you never again! <laughs> As you can see, we're suffering a recent manpower shortage. If you solve every puzzle on the way to Helheim, speak to me, and I shall... Uh... Oh, what is that you're wearing? Is it some sort of a vest, or...? I don't know. It's a bunch of fur, I guess. Right. Uh, so solve every puzzle, and I shall see if I can help you with that apparel situation you've got going there. Hey man, I got this weird document I need signatures for. Supposed to prove that I'm a valued member of Helheim. Wanna help me out? Oh, of course. 
Welcome to Helheim. Got the signatures? Yup, here they are. Huh, well then, I guess you can use the elevator as you please, Mr. Popular. Don't forget what I said about 11 signatures. You get a bow tie, a nice one too. Oh snap, that's Mimir. Hi, Mr. Mimir. Oh, hi yourself, Mr. Limbs. Oh, look at me and my fancy limbs. What do you want? Um, I, I was wondering if I could borrow Odin's eye for a bit. You gosh darn limbers! You never have enough, do ya? Running around with your big fancy limbs and still it's not enough? You want more eyes now? All you do is take, take, take. Get out of here! Hi, Mr. Mimir. Oh, hi there, my boy! Finally, a being as humble as myself. How can I help ya? I was wondering if I could borrow Odin's eye for a bit. Oh, that's a stranger. Dangerous request. But I trust your judgment. As I always say, always trust the head. We heads have to help each other out if we want to get ahead. Thanks, Mr. Mimir. Enjoy Odin's eye, my boy. He'll probably kill you, though. Okay, I got the eye. How do we use it to summon Odin? It is quite simple. Take the eye out, and he will see where you are, and come to you. But for Freya's sake, don't do it here. I do not want that idiot anywhere near Helheim. So, wait, I, I just pull it out, and that's it? <sighs> Fine. If you need more pomp and ceremony, I'll have someone build a summoning altar for you in Nivelheim. That should be far enough away. The gate to it is over there. Good luck. I assume you'll need it. to go to Nibelheim, dog. If you've got business anywhere else, better take care of it before we go. I'm ready. All right, let's go! I'm coming too. I still can't find Anthony. Holy home, this place is gloomy. Even bear hell is better than this. Bjorn, don't mess around with your limbs while we're here. Remember, no more bull. does feel a little cringy. And there it is. What the home are you doing here, Famine? Pestilence. The Dark Lord sent me here to clean up your mess. I shall kill the pagan boy and send him where he belongs. Yeah! You're so cringy! Listen, fam! We know this Odin guy is wrecking our home, but it'll be fine! We're about to summon him here. There is no point in you being here. You're just in the way, as always. The point is to please our king. Uh... What the? Stop that, you idiot! You guys go get Odin. I'll deal with this jerk. God, I hate him. You okay, Bjorn? Yeah. Try talking to him. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not touching that feud with a 10-meter pole. Let's get out of here. No more bull. No more bull. No more bull. Oh, <laughs> but there's gonna be more bull, Bear Slayer. That you, Anthony? Knock it off and come with me to Bear Hell. Ah, but where's the fun in that, Reaper? <laughs> Fate has served me to Bear Slayer on a silver platter. And us bears, we always eat up. 
that was cringy too, right? It's not just me. Look, Anthony, I'm sorry I accidentally killed you, okay? I'm really sorry. I had no control over it. It was... it was gravity. You still think I'm mad because you killed me, Bear Slayer, huh? Well, stuff dies all the time. Get over it. You're not mad because I killed you? No! I'm mad because you destroyed me cassette player with me only Bear John Johnson cassette in it. All this is over a cassette player? They don't make them anymore! That's true, dog. I haven't seen one since the Viking Age. For over a thousand years, I've been looking for Bear John Johnson remasters, wrestling with inferior music players, trying to pirate songs from the internet. But there is nothing, not even a lousy demo. I've been miserable. The only consolation was that you were just as miserable in Valhalla. <laughs> Welcome to the club. It's time to be miserable again, Bear Slayer! But I have to die in battle to go back to Valhalla. And you can't kill me. True. If only someone designed a tool specifically to slay a few bratty immortal souls. Is he talking about my scythe? You can't have my scythe! Man, I am the worst Grim Reaper ever. Hope you enjoy your trip back to Valhalla, Bear Slayer. No! I'm going to Valhalla, dog. Oh, Bear God! That scythe is strictly designed to take bear souls to bear hell, you fool! Is that bad, or...? Kill you over and over forever. That's how you want to spend eternity? Listening to you die has to be as good as listening to Bear John Johnson. He likes music. Maybe I can try playing something to calm him down. <laughs> yes! He gets riled up when he kills me. I need to avoid yeah! that. One of those rug pianos. I'll need my legs to play on that. <laughs> Die. Die! 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 A guitar.
Die! 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 over Bear John Johnson for so long, I didn't even consider listening to anything else. Are you having a lesson moment right now? I am. Shut up. I forgot that the world is full of music, Bear Slayer. There's no reason to dwell on one thing for too long. I guess I can go to Bear Hell. Check out some local Bear Demon bands or something. Actually, you already sent a soul to Bear Hell when you wave that scythe around. She may not be a bear, but, uh, eh, close enough. We have as many souls as we need now. You can do whatever you want. We don't care. Wait, but I need Helga to be here so she can go to Valhalla instead of me. Oh yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> die, you stupid bears! Die! This is where I... She really puts the word hell in bear hell, doesn't she? You know what? Let her stay. She seems happy. Man, you people go back and forth more than a pendulum on a boat! Okay! Is everyone done with me now? Can I leave? If I'm not needed in bear hell, then well, there's only one thing for me to do. Go back in time and start the best metal band ever. It's time for me to make me own music. What? He can time travel? Of course he can. Time traveling is like the best part of being a ghost. Then why didn't you just time travel to the Viking Age and listen to Bear John Johnson? Bye. Yeah, I'm out too. are going to have a little chat. And by chat, I mean I'm going to inflict large amounts of pain upon you. Ah, faces. What the home happened here? Pesto! 
Bjorn, you okay? Did you do the deal with Odin? Did he take Helga's soul? Thanks, Hugin and Munin. Helga is gone, Pesto. There won't be any deals with Odin, and I'm not battling him. I give up. I'm done. Bjorn, snap out of it, you stupid idiot! Oh, my name is Bjorn. I don't battle stuff. You have battled dragons, zombies, insane bear people, and more clunky goblin tech than I know what to do with. But Odin is no dragon slash zombie slash insane bear person, Pesto. Who cares? You get to face him on home turf, and that's an advantage. Home turf? Yeah, man. We just need what you do best, an unnecessarily convoluted plan. Did somebody say unnecessarily convoluted? I think I know a few rockin' goblins that specialize in that. Balder! Whoa. What happened, man? Are you okay? I I'm fine, rock and roller. Although, I'm not entirely filled in on what's going on. Who are we defeating? No one. Go back to Helheim, Balder. You need to rest. I'll notify the goblins. Thanks, guys. I'm only agreeing to this for Balder's sake. He seems fond of you. All right, kitty. Here's what's gonna happen. Once Odin shows up, you're gonna run up this super simple contraption we built. Odin's too big, so he won't be able to follow you. Once you're on top, pull the lever, and the net will fall on top of him, mate. And remember, mate, do it with your arm. Once he's captured, we don't release him until he agrees to let you stay here. Best plan ever. What's with all those puzzles on the way up there? We couldn't help ourselves, mate. Ugh. All right. And sorry about the flames. That's kind of my thing now. Brock and I made that net. It'll catch anything. Yeah, it's way better than Gleipnir. We made it from nonsensical ingredients like the tear of a stone, and, uh, 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 what was that other one? The dignity of pay-to-win games? Oh, yeah, that was it. All right, Bjorn, put the eye on this altar and be ready to leg it and pull the lever. Kabowie! Explosion sound! <laughs> Someone's messing with my other eye. It's... I hate this place underscore two! What's he doing in Nibelheim? Oh, uh... <laughs> looks like I wandered into the wrong level again. <laughs> Odin, out! What happened? Did he leave? Yeah, I think so. Well, that was certainly a whole... thing. Phew. At last. A little peace and quiet. Satan! Satan! I have some very bad news regarding this, sir! Gosh darn it. Wait, hold on. Half of you can fly. How come I have to... Oh, here he comes. Everybody run! Or we'll fly! Hee hee! Ha ha! Ho ho! What are you doing with my eye? I hate this place underscore two! Let me just pop this back in. Ooh, ah, freaky. Ooh, now, what are you doing? Eh, who cares? Come on, child, we're going back to Valhalla. No way, Odin. I hate it there. I'm staying. Did you just say no to me? <laughs> Down here, I hate this place under score two. No. I'm not going back to Valhalla, Odin. You are my soul! You'll do whatever I say! You can't make me! I am the All-Father! I can make- Open. Opening. I ended up in Valhalla on a technicality. I don't belong there. You be home where I see you be home! Which is in Valhalla, on my team, with me! Gotcha! Now, agree to leave me here, Odin, or else we won't release you. Ha! What is this? A fishnet? Who do you think I am, Poseidon? Hi-ya! 
Get down here! I hate this place underscore two. Jump on, Pierre. We're getting out of here. Oh, no. Mr. Trader is flying I hate this place underscore two away. Whatever will I do? Wall of flame! As one does. Hee <laughs> hee. Ha ha. Here I come. I hate this place underscore two. Ha ha. Ho ho. Hee hee. Boom. Ha ha ha. I hate this place underscore two, but I'm totally catching up to ya! Hee 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 Ha ha! give up and go back with you. Well, too bad. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Hey, Odie. Uh, cool catchphrase. Yeah! Are we gonna go on that battling trip today, Papa? Surely doily, son. Daddy's just gonna go to the store and buy some Viking cigarettes. Be right back. Whoa. Ah, uh, we we're supposed to see that. Time to go back to Valhalla. I hate this place underscore two. Wait, 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 wait. Boulder is here. What? Boulder, your son, he's here. Boulder is dead? They always told me you went to the big Boulder farm up in the sky. Oh, those jerks. You're my dad, rock and roller? Son, how did you end up down here? Uh, I don't remember. I would rescue if I had known. Well, I'm rescuing you now. You are eligible to duke it out in Duty Storm with me and my bros in Valhalla forever, son. What do you say? Valhalla? That sounds pretty rockin'. I don't know if I can, though. I'll have to ask Mom. Mom? Who's Mom? Your mom is... He's talking about me. I knew this day would come. Mulder. When you came here, this place was dark and gloomy. And by dark and gloomy, I mean horrible. But you turned it into a thriving community. A place where people belong. I think you've earned the right to do whatever you want. Oh man! I wish Ramsey could see this. Who's Ramsey, son? Ramsey was my rock and goblin friend. I accidentally ate him. Oh, uh... <laughs> Hey, how would you like to go on a battling trip to Goblin Hill with your papa? We can rescue your friend, have some father and son bonding time. It'll be tons of fun. Will there be excessive violence and intense action? You bet. Rock and roll. All right then. Hamster and monkey, you guys are in charge of Valhalla from now on. Odin and Boulder, out!
Well, it's over. Odin won't bother any of us in the predictable future. I'll miss Balder, but at least he's with family now, where he belongs. As promised, you are free to stay here as long as you want. I'll be working in the proximity of Helheim if you need me. And by working, I mean standing around. All right. Thanks, ma'am. You got everything you need? Yep. Got Satan's dumb sword and a bunch of new bruises. Hooray! Thanks, Pesto, for everything. Um, particularly taking care of that other skeleton. He was creepy. Look at the Oharn Hammer Party. Approving of me kicking butt. Thanks yourself, little man. Well, you're in Heilheim, I've got the sword. I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. Do we shake hands, or...? How about an encouraging high five? Heh, <laughs> I saw that coming this time. Ah, all right, man. Take care. Don't let anyone mess with you. Throw rocks at them if they do. Bye, Pesto. Now what? Yohar! Hey, man, what's up? Pesto, what are you doing here? My home is a mess, man. There was a guy ripping apart guards. Then someone did a kickflip, and now my boss is in the hospital, and I have two weeks of paid vacation. What? Point is, there is a really awkward atmosphere back home right now, so I was like, wonder what my buddy Bjorn is doing. Is it cool if I hang out with you for a while? Sure, Pesto. Skipping the credits, are we? Rude. How about half speed instead? You still haven't learned your lesson? Boom! Quarter speed. All right, all right. Who cares about all the people who worked on this game anyway? Is that it? Am I done with the cameo? Good. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a Satan fight to narrate. Milky to Bat Dung. Milky to Bat Dung. Come in. Bat Dung here. You're not gonna believe this. I tracked down one horseman, but then another one showed up. I got a picture of both of them. A whole lot of crazy crap happened to us too, Milky. Red Eye's dead, but I think we got everything we need. There's something else. I, I think I know how to safely initiate phase three. For the bean, Milky. For the bean. Milky out. <laughs>